My name is Ali Mohan Mahmood, and this is Interviewing in a Bathroom. Hey, can I ask you a question real quick? Dude, come on, come on, dude. You need to wash your hands, man. Hello, welcome to the second episode of Down to Earth. The topic of this episode is going to be arrogance. And I thought it'd be important that we talked about arrogance first because people who are arrogant typically don't think they have anything wrong with themselves. So if I didn't talk about this first, then what would be the point of the rest of the show? So absorb this episode, take it to heart, and then maybe we can continue on from there. I am here with a doctor of sociology, Dr. Scotch. And Dr. Scotch, I've been meaning to ask you this question for a long time. What was it like to make such a versatile type of tape? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> like scotch tape. I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, okay. okay, no. The real okay. The real question. I got it now. All right. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that's like a prevalent attitude today? Um prevalent in the world? No. Prevalent in America, maybe. Definitely in Dallas. Dang. <laughs> it's like the rest of America is in Arrogance in Dallas. Dallas uh Dallas is it's just parts of Dallas. Is there like people in like California? Uh, probably. No. I feel that it drives the U.S. economy, and it's why America's great, because we're all egotistical bastards. That's about it. All right, what about, How about you? you? Um, I think that ego and selfishness can be a, a very good thing in society, because when it comes down to it, it's your ego and your arrogance and things like that that's going to keep pushing you to be better than everybody else and being able to excel above them in society and economically and things like that. Yeah. So screw everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Societies that think that they are, uh, they have uh, uh, some kind of uh, monopoly on truth and have a great deal of self-confidence may uh, not always understand the kinds of problems they're having in the world. It's a very competitive society, so uh, people put themselves above others and arrogance comes with that. So the reality is, in modern day corporate America, you have to have something, some kind of belief in yourself. Some people call it confidence, some people call it arrogance, but well, let's clarify those two terms. Confidence is built on integrity, and integrity is built on your ability to do things with quality in a timely fashion, as where arrogance is saying that you can do all those things, but having no integrity. In order to be successful today, you have to have confidence. But there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance, really, what it boils down to is when you're, you're arrogant, you're confident to an extent that you start denying the truth, you start saying things that aren't true, or you start believing in things that aren't true, and you also look down upon other people. You can definitely have a sense of self without disregarding other people's sense of self. You're more closed-minded and you only think of yourself more. Because they're focused on themselves instead of others. It's, it's, very, it's very important that we don't confuse excellence, being an example to others, with arrogance. Um, and some people may believe that you have to go through a stage of being arrogant before you can humble yourself and become confident. I don't think that's true. The true essence of confidence is inspiration. Because when you're inspired and that inspiration leads to confidence, you can inspire others. And that's where leadership really comes from. Leadership doesn't come one day when you look on an application and it says, hey, how are you a leader? And then you somehow figure out how you're a leader. That's not how leadership comes. Leadership comes from values. And these values aren't easy to attain. Some people are good at some things and other people are good at other things. Sometimes we just need followers. We need followers in certain things and leaders in other things so leaders and followers can work together with things that they're good at so that we can have a running, functional society. So in one word, I need you guys to define arrogance. Without saying the word arrogance, one word. <laughs> one person doesn't have to be good at everything because that's never the case. That will never happen. And that's where arrogance comes from, when someone thinks they're good at everything and they can't take any kind of criticism to tell them otherwise. I think it keeps people from doing things effectively. It certainly leads to things like miscalculation. So you think that you can do something, but you can't. They tend to do things that they shouldn't be doing. People are too cocky, then they think they're all that. And it gets really annoying, and they just fail at life. Um, it causes cockiness, which causes recklessness, which can cause a lot of people to hurt other people's feelings or physically hurt other people. The correct kind of confidence 
is the confidence between extreme modesty and arrogance. Because if you're extremely modest, you won't have the ability, you won't have the self-confidence to jump up and do what's right when things are going wrong. But if you're too arrogant, you're not likely to take advice from other people and listen to your followers on how to lead them. And that's crucial to leading other people. You need to, you need to understand how to follow others and how to take criticism. When people are modest, they're willing to learn from other people and if everybody's willing to learn then the world will be a better place. There is a particular problem with arrogance which is that if you think you know everything and you don't know everything uh, you're less likely to get someone to correct you and so arrogant people often make mistakes just as non-arrogant people but arrogant people may not be willing to listen to people explaining how they might do things better. So it's, it's good to be self-confident, but it can lead to problems in terms of uh, not learning from your mistakes or even understanding them. If someone gives you advice and you take it really personally every single time, then you might have a serious ego problem. You have to look at their advice in a way that they might be trying to help you or that their advice might actually be true. And even if it's not true, keep your cool. Maybe this is a way of testing your own arrogance. I don't know, it's hard to have a conversation with somebody who's arrogant, you know? If you think you're all that, then nobody's going to want to be your friend. When it's communication, when, when someone speaks an, or has an idea or some suggestion and the other person is just unwilling to accept it, um, it's just, you know, it, it limits the conversation in general. If you feel the need to interject into every single conversation, if you feel irritated whenever your opinion isn't taken in the end, then you might have a serious ego problem of understanding how important your ideas are with respect to other people's ideas. Respect other people's ideas. That's very important to keeping your confidence in check. It's like you have to be humble to other people. You can't just like disrespect everyone. I feel like it's a bit on the rise, uh, especially with uh, popular culture kind of promoting it a little bit. Growing up, you know, I guess in a Western society. We live in a culture that's full of ego. You have songs that are like, hey dude, check out my hat, my chain, my ears, my socks. I mean, real talk. Being confident and not arrogant and not too modest all the time is not something that's easy. It's not something that comes naturally. It's something that you have to consistently work on. The way you do that is you watch for arrogance in everyday situations. If someone cuts you off while you're driving, you don't necessarily have to get pissed off. If someone schools you in basketball, you don't have to go out on a vendetta to destroy them. It's easy to avoid, you know, just don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of things can be just smoothed over. Another appropriate way to check yourself when it comes to arrogance is to not necessarily accept praise all the time. Don't think that when you get praise all the time that necessarily everything, that, that it's all because of you. Don't necessarily think that every time you get praise that, it's, that you get all the credit for it. Instead, credit somebody else. Credit your parents. Credit God in order to keep yourself in check. Arrogance comes from someone who credits themselves all the time. Because when they credit themselves all the time, they're not able to credit others. It blinds someone. So, arrogance and ego leads to like, you being the center of your own universe and then you can't see outside and adjust yourself. So, problems around you become unimportant and then you become a problem yourself. More interviews. <laughs> you need to find more interviews. I don't know who, who could interview. Like, More women! Another way to keep yourself in check as far as confidence goes is to think about when you criticize others. Because if you're criticizing people all the time and constantly telling them about their problems, then your words may be more harmful to them than the benefit that you're trying to bring out. So think about yourself. Think about the problems you have with yourself. Check your own self before you go on checking others. Because blessed is the person who is so busy checking himself that he doesn't have time to check others. Some people think that they're better than other people, but in the end, we're all human beings and we're all people. Start hanging out with people who are better than you so that they can remind you where you are and what your position is in reality. Um, when you're hanging around better people, you're more likely to become like them and they keep, they keep you really in perspective of who you are. How do we solve this problem in one word? <laughs> Genocide. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people nowadays, when they're talking about the problems of the world, they might talk about things like alcoholism or drug addiction. But in reality, one of the biggest problems of the world may be something like arrogance, but it's not recognized because you can't even see the problem of arrogance. And, that, and, and I would argue that arrogance is even a bigger problem than, than alcoholism and rehab and all those things because you are the only one who can tell whether you're arrogant or not. 
you're the only one who can check yourself. And you seriously need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's game, baby.